Hi everybody, Diane from California Tea and Herbal. And today's video is a short discussion on tea and teeth. Well, it's widely known how healthy tea is and how good uh, green and black teas, in fact, all teas are really hard to find a healthier beverage. But today specifically, I want to talk about how tea can affect your oral health, your teeth and your gums. And let's start with some cautions first. Um, lately, and I try to find tea news every day and stay current, but something that's really been coming up is the new tea blends. They become very popular with the fruits in them and also the herbal drinks like hibiscus. And any drink that's acidic like that is going to erode the enamel on your teeth. Now I've been noticing you know, toward the top of my top teeth, um, some erosion of the enamel. And so it's really good to rinse, uh, you know, especially if you're drinking a lot of those. But whenever you drink something like that, it's good to rinse your mouth in with water and just do that to help prevent the erosion of the enamel of your teeth. Okay, another thing you want to watch for with tea is tea and heat. And this doesn't just apply to tea, this applies to any drink. Studies have shown that if you drink scalding hot liquid, you are going to damage the very delicate interior of your mouth. And that's not good because that can lead to things even as serious as oral cancer. So you want to really be careful. When you brew a, a hot cup of tea, let it cool down. Let it sit a minute. And just uh, what else that will do beside being better for you physically and a precautionary on oral health is that that's going to help the flavors just kind of, con it's like letting a, a roast sit and let it reabsorb the juices. It just seems like the flavors really come together when the tea is not scalding hot. Okay, now let's move into the really good things. Tea and all tea, it's not just green, all tea has these polyphenols that really do wonderful things for us. And part of that is what they can do for our oral health, gum, mouth, oral health. So important to our overall health. So the first thing that I love that tea can do is tea can kill our bacteria in our mouth, which causes bad breath. Now, my Norwegian daddy, his whole family, drank coffee morning till night. And I love him to pieces, but I got to tell you, when I was around them, I would kind of have to hold my breath because what coffee does to breath, and you all know this, it, it is not pleasant. So tea does just the opposite. Tea really kind of even makes my mouth feel fresh when I drink tea, but it kills the bacteria that can cause bad breath. Now some of the information I'm sharing today comes from the American Academy of Periodontics and the Journal of Periodontry. I hope I'm saying that right. I believe I am. And so uh, I'm going to also put links in the description so you can follow up on this and read more for yourself. Back to the good things that tea does. Tea actually helps destroy the acid that, that causes uh, a plaque and, and of course plaque is going to lead to cavities. So, wow, that's a huge plus for me because I do not like visits to the dentist or to the doctor, although you really need to keep on top of this. And I'm, I'm, I have nothing to do with medicine or dentistry. I am just a student of tea. And so check these out in the links below. Okay, and so on the theme of tea, killing the bad bacteria in our in our mouths, um, even sore throats. Uh, they've done studies on the tea extracts that are used now in in killing bacteria that actually causes sore throats. So um, this is this is very important. And I also want to mention um, the only other negative that I have read about and personally experienced with tea, and I don't think I've mentioned this, but you know, I used to have super white teeth, but tea stains. And to me, that's not a big problem. But if it is to you, you can swish your mouth after drinking tea, swish it with water, and, you know, swish away the tea and help your teeth stay whiter. But having said that, tea is such a wonderful beverage. 
And oral health is so important. Dentists will tell you it affects, you know, many, many, many things in the body, including the heart. So you want to keep your mouth in great shape. And tea can be a part of a very healthy way to, to have your oral health stay where it should be. I hope you've enjoyed the little tutorial on tea and teeth. And I'd like to just say I really appreciate that you're here and you were interested in learning more about tea. Uh, we have the little bell. Some people say they're not getting notices when a new video goes up. But if you click that bell, you should be getting notices of new videos. You would really help us by subscribing because we get more uh, on YouTube's favored list and more publicity from them and cues and so forth that way. And also, if you would like, that would help if you'd share with your tea-loving and tea-curious friends. So I will see you next time. Lots of fun and interesting subjects coming up. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.